Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 13 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos on my channel page. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 13. So, we are just taking a look at our uh, Osset fuel line. It's running down here to Osset. You can see the uh, passenger train heading back the other way. This is running really well. Um, coming down here with a full load of fuel. Let's see, Osset starting to get a decent amount. However, the reason I wanted to take a look at it is that we're actually having a pretty good amount of fuel uh, pile up on this platform. So there's 39 here. And if you recall, that train only has 40 capacity. So it's already about maxed out. And if you see right here, we actually have 165 fuel making its way up here now on the uh, PLM just coming up to speed now. So I'm expecting that we're gonna start to have uh, quite a bit of fuel pile up on this platform. So I just wanted to come in here really quick and add on a few more tankers. So we'll bring that up to whatever that is, 12. So that's now gonna be <laughs> math. What is that, 60? <laughs> yeah, I think it's 60. Uh, 60 capacity. Perfect. Okay, so that will make its way back now. As far as passengers go, this train is actually getting completely overloaded. Um, at least on the Osset end and even on the Ferry Hill end. It's got 73 here now. It's only got 70 capacity, so let's uh, do a little work on this as well. Now, I'm not so sure how many cars we can actually add onto um, this line before we need another um another a new train i guess would be the right word new train so let's just go ahead we'll add on a little bit more capacity bringing it up to 86 it should still be able to do the hill i mean it's kind of struggling for speed right now so we might have to look into uh actually getting a new train on there um but for now we'll let that run and we'll just see how it does um, may need to get a new train on there in future. Although, honestly, passenger numbers like this kind of warrants a new train anyway. So if we actually come in here and just replace this whole thing, we'll get a PLM. And uh, if the PLM can go 37, that means we don't want to use these Bavarian passenger cars anymore because these limited to 34. So we'll use these, and we want to get think to about 80 let's see 91 that would be 80 so that will be our train and now if we come over here and take a look at this slow it down a little bit we still got our little first class carriage on the end I think that's gonna look really nice it's got 80 capacity it should function it's gonna be faster um, I just think that's gonna be a better train in every regard got our interesting interchange there but okay so what are some of the things that we want to start off with just to kind of recap we established this fuel and passenger line to osset linking osset and therefore hodsden and redding kind of into our main line as far as passengers are concerned um we also established this ferry line which is actually running really well the carl shalton the twickenham leg not as much as the Red Ruth 2 Twickenham. Um, but you can see, you know, we got a decent number of passengers. We got 71 on it right now, which is huge, and 64 wanting to come back. So it's actually running fairly well. Um, you can see it has a couple huge sessions, probably when it's running back and forth between Twickenham and Red Ruth, and then kind of dips down when it heads back down to Karshalton, but I really like how it, how it works anyway. Okay, so I had a uh, comment in uh, one of the earlier videos. I'm kind of recording these ahead of time, so I apologize. You know, if you comment on something, it might take a couple episodes for me to get to it just because, uh, you know, trying to record videos ahead of time so that it's a more consistent throughput onto the channel. Uh, but Dave Fiker, I believe is his name, he commented about the uh, loading of our trains. So if I come down here, 
and we click on this train. I was having some issues with the loading and that's because I completely forgot that there's a load, there's a full load any as opposed to full load all. So I'm thinking that we want full load any and then that will make it so that they just wait for a full load of one particular good. So let me see if we can test that. Another line that we could test it on, if I just kind of orient myself here, is this uh, steel train. So I don't know where it's at, but if we come on to the steel line and we set this to full load any, it should come up here and wait for a full load of steel and then set off. So I don't know where this train is. I think it's, it's on its way down here somewhere. Yeah, so here it is. It's heading down here. It's gonna pick up some tools. That's working great. Um, we have a huge overload actually of tools here. So I think I'll add on just a couple more. Probably wanna get a second steel train on there um, at some point so that I can kind of rebalance the, you know, I can drop off a couple flatbeds and add on a couple more uh, boxcars just to move some more tools. But we'll come back and see if that's working the way that we want it to. And I think it will. Um, if we come back here, we're starting to get some fuel piling up. Let's see. We don't have a train coming back quite yet. It's all the way out here. So we'll have to see um, how that does. But okay. So I found another issue on our main line. Now, when we were going through and replacing trains, we were kind of focusing on this portion, the skeleton to Karshalton. There's a whole train that I forgot to replace, and it's actually right here. It's our old, one of our oldest trains. Let's see how old it is, actually. Age... 45 hours if I go to quarter speed 56 years yeah it's it's very old and it's also slow it caps out at 31 miles an hour so it's going to stagnate this whole portion of the line not to mention that we have a ton of fuel piling up here so let's get that replaced I'm just going to replace the whole thing now the question is is an A35 overkill for this line I don't know it may be but then again we have so much money at this point um, that I'm I'm okay with it being somewhat overkill so let's not go full length let's maybe go to there and let's set that up just so that we have a uh, bigger more powerful train and I'm really hoping that these PLMs aren't conflicting with these A35s. Um, there is a speed differential, but I hope that the PLM is fast enough for the passenger trains just to keep up with it. I know that that kind of contradicts what I just said about having a ton of money and therefore not really mattering. Um, but either way, I think that this will work just fine. Okay. So now that we got that train fixed, let's head back up here to Reading. Let's see if we can catch that steel train. Okay, it actually did exactly what we wanted. It took a full load of steel and no tools and it headed right back off. So that is what we want. We want that load full any. So thank you very much for that. And you can see that it did the same thing here. Thank you very much for that comment. That is super helpful. Okay, so I would like to start activating our remaining cities. Uh, looks like we have three that haven't been touched at all. Uh, we have Oaken Gates, we have uh, Dukenfield, and we have Sandown. Now, Sandown is easy. I'm just going to set up a little bus line running back and forth between Red Ruth and Sandown. Sandown's actually a pretty good sized city. So we'll want to come through here and establish a little circulator. So maybe if I put a road in there, I'm just going to get rid of that one. They're a little too close. And then maybe put in a set of roads like this. Get rid of those. And 
yeah, they could circle around like right there. So I'm just going to make this connection. Just to help them a little bit. And then I'm going to put an interchange in here. And let's see, how do I want to do it? I think I'll put it in like that. And add in some passenger platforms, and then add in a road. And then I will connect this up like that. So now they'll be able to circulate through that, and that should work really nicely. Let's just come through here and smooth out some of this terrain, because it's kind of building on a hill. Just make sure it all looks nice. Okay. So let's come through here now. Let's get some bus stops. I think they'll come out of here. Let's have them stop there. There. Something like that. And why don't we upgrade that road? So now if we set up some new lines... do something like this and so let's make them like a blue color and this will be sand down uh, bus what is this uh, counterclockwise copy that make a new line this is just clockwise and now we can go the other way And we'll make this that same blue color. And now if we come in here to our buildings, we can get a depot in here. This is kind of our industrial area of town. So why don't I get that right in there? And now we can get some buses. Might get uh, two on each. So we'll make them that blue color. Put two on the counterclockwise and two on the clockwise. Okay, so now Sandown has a little circulator and it's gonna run right down this road, this kind of squiggly road. I'll leave it for now. It's totally fine. Um, and I would actually love for them to connect in here at the ferry. So in order to do that, I would love to be able to squeeze in a terminal here. I don't think I'm going to be able to because I don't think I'm going to be able to get that additional um, platform in. Let's see what I can do. So if I put that in there, yeah, I can't get it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this around. And I'm going to set it down. I just want to get these heights right. I'm going to put it in right there. And then I'm going to kind of destroy this a little bit. Come in here. And we will add in something like that. And now I just need to get this road by. So if I kind of jog it a little bit. Now I wonder if I can make this connection. Yes, I can. Okay, so now that is connected. We'll keep this going straight for a little bit. And then we'll tie it back in there. And now I just need to make this connection like that. We'll add in a couple trees there. And now this is connected here so we can actually get rid of this stop so I'm gonna get rid of both of these and if we come into these stops so this is the counterclockwise so it's heading like this so it doesn't have a south street so after Grove come in here and then for this one Come in here, but I want this to stop at platform two. So now that is working. And now we can actually set up our interchange. If we 
come in here, set up a new line from sand down all the way down here. This will go to platform three. Why don't we make it like a dark green color? And because this is inner city, I'm just gonna have them wait for like 60 seconds to get some passengers. And this is gonna be uh, Red Ruth to Sandown. And now we can get some buses on there. So let's get maybe four on this end. And then if we come up here, we can get four on this end. And now hopefully those will kind of space themselves out and we can start to get some passengers moved down here to the uh, Red Ruth Ferry. And let's kind of try and clean up this road just a little bit. That part is okay. This part is overly wiggly. So we'll connect that in. This part similarly, a little bit more wiggly than it needs to be. So we'll connect that in. And then similarly here, this part is a little bit more than it needs to be. Okay, so now that all works, we can let this play again. And I'll just come in here and just kind of clean up this road a little bit. And then we can clean up Red Ruth as well. Okay, I really like this. I think that this is gonna work really nicely. And all of our lines are functioning they're going to run back and forth here. And hopefully we can start to get some passengers in here that would like to head down to um, Red Ruth. Perfect. Okay. So now moving on to what we were working on at the end of the last episode. We were uh, working on establishing some goods production. And we actually put in this station here which is in catchment of the silver mine, and it hops right onto the main line here. So this is gonna work really well with getting silver um, into our production chain. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a train run down here, and it is going to interchange. Excuse me. It's gonna interchange here at Skelton. Now in order to do so, I need to edit this uh, platform just a little bit. Um, and I know that we've done extensive amounts of work at this platform, but it's just gonna, we, we just need a little bit more. We need a little bit more space. So in order to do that, I'm gonna pause really quick because we're going to kind of screw up what we've got going on here. I'm gonna delete out some of this road. I just realized some of this is big road, doesn't need to be. And then we're gonna delete out some of this track because I'm actually going to shift this platform down to the right a little bit. So let's come in here and let's see how far we can get it to go. So if I add in a platform, I think two would be enough, um, but better safe than sorry, I'm gonna do three just to give us enough room. Let's add in some tracks here. And now if we added three there, I can actually remove three down here. And I removed those modules, which is not what I wanted to do. So I'll go ahead and add those back in down here. And then we'll come in here and delete out these tracks so that we can add them back in ourselves, um, which will allow us to work on them. Okay, and now we're gonna add in another set of platforms on this side with just a single through track. 
I think we only need one for this to work. So we'll add in another set of tracks there. We will connect these all back up. And then I will connect these up. We'll go out to like 30. I think that that'll work. And now we need to get our road back through here. Um, but before I do that, let's pull a track out here. I'm actually going to back these out so that I can get this all nice and level. So let's grab this track. Let's pull this out straight. Just so that it's nice and level, we're going to have to do some work on that slope there. Pull both of those out. And now we'll add our merges back in, keep them nice and tight. Pull that out so that it's nice and level. And now we'll similarly do our merges nice and tight. Now that one's gonna have to come out. And then this one will come out a little bit further and connect in. And now I can actually back these off. Um, actually, I don't think I want to because I think I want to put my road crossing in first. So let's keep them nice and flat. Just so that I can get this road crossing in. So if I grab just a straight road and I put it through there and curve that around, back this out a little bit, connect that in. I guess this should actually be a little bit tighter. And then I'll connect that in. Okay, and now I'm gonna back this out just a little bit. Back it out to maybe there. Can I get my cross in here? I think I can. So I'll add that in just for future. And then we'll come in here and connect this rail line up. Okay, so now that slope is fine. All of our lines are fixed, but now we have this additional set of platforms here that we can use. So we can go ahead and let this run again. I'll probably bring this down and tie it in right before this bridge. And now we can come through here and signalize. We do want one-way signals, so I'll put them in there. in there and then maybe somewhere here in the center very good and now we need to bring this track over so that he can merge in here so i wonder if i back that out to there maybe do 40 so it can do 40 miles an hour to get in there Maybe a 30 mile an hour merge in there. And then he'll just need to be able to get back over here. So what if I actually grabbed this track? Brought it over like that. How does that look? It doesn't look bad and I can get a double switch in there. Now if I put a signal in there and in there, and then I'll put a non-one-way signal in there, get rid of that one, and get rid of that one, 
and then maybe just shift these down a little bit. Okay, so now that works, and now they have a way into this set of platforms here, but I also want them to have a way onto the main line going in this direction. So in order to do that, I'm gonna pull this track out. Let's keep it nice and flat. And I just need enough room to make these merges so I can have that. Yeah, and this is gonna be really tight. So what if I brought this down to here? Because it just needs to be able to merge on here. What if I do this the other way? So we'll grab this track, bring it off at 25, connect that in. I add that in there. Okay, so I'm thinking that this track is priority. So that one could merge in all the way down there. And then this one could merge in here. And that would allow them to get onto this track and then cross over here, and then cross over again, and then get onto the main line. It's kind of a mess, uh, but I kind of like it. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. Another option is just to continue this straight through all the way, but then I have to make a really sharp curve to get into here, and I don't know if I have enough space to do it. This junction might have to be reworked at some point. I just don't see how we would do that. So for now, this is my solution. This is my ridiculous solution. Okay, so now we can start to get silver interchanged here at Carl Shelton, which is good. That's That was the whole point here, because Carl Shelton demands goods. So we're gonna have a train running down here, or sorry, Skelton demands goods. Interchange at Skelton. I also added in the second platform here. So we can merge this in with this track so that now there's access to this platform. And this is where we're gonna drop off the silver. So I'll just come through here, just kind of clean that up a little bit. Okay, so this is where we're gonna drop off the silver. So we're going to need a way to get that silver up here to this goods factory. This goods factory actually has no road connection right now, um, which is unfortunate, but I think what we're going to do is branch a road off here and kind of make our way up here. So why don't we get a nice straight road here? Keep it at the level of the goods factory for now. And then we'll kind of cut through the forest here. Come right into here. Cut through there. And then bring it down here. And then I'm actually gonna make this the primary movement on this road. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, connect that in there, and then we will reconnect to this. So now we have a nice road running down here, and it's gonna run through Carshall, which is not ideal, um, but I just don't really see a good way of getting them around coming through Carshall. So with that being the case, what I might do is make this a main road running through here, and then adding in a connection here so that they can just come straight through here and get onto that road. So if we're gonna do that, I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't think that I can upgrade this to a larger road. Yeah, I can here, but not here. Which stinks, because I'm gonna have to tear out all of this. Um, but I think... Yeah. 
Karshalton will recover. Uh, it's a really good city. It's getting a lot of stuff. Um, it just, it's unfortunate that I have to do it like this. So let's grab this, pull that straight through. It's kind of at the wrong height. So what if I grab it? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we will pull this straight through here. Pull this straight through here. And then this will branch directly into this road. Um, I guess I'll continue this on a little bit. And now we can make some connections here, some strategic connections to help Karshalton kind of reconnect itself. I think there was a road right here, if I'm not mistaken. And now we'll add our tram tracks back in. And we'll add our bus stops back in. Okay. So now we can let this run again. These trams... This tram is stuck. So let's get that fixed. And then once that's back on the line, we can... Go ahead and get rid of those. Okay. But now we have trams running on this big road. And now we can establish a small connection here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna downgrade this portion and then switch over to dirt and we'll run right through like that so hopefully now that will give them a good way of getting down here so let's set up a truck stop and I might just put it like right on the end of this road Trying to give them enough space for one of these large buildings. Yeah, that looks really nice. Um, and now we can establish some extra platforms here. Make this a nice big truck stop. Interestingly, some of these assets came through. It's okay. Kind of clean them up a little bit. Let's kind of back them off from our station a little bit. And then we can kind of clean up that road. Clean up this road as well. Um, I know that I do a lot of decorating, but when it's just a little road like this and there's no major issues, I'll just clean it up. That'll be okay. Okay, but now they'll have a way to come up here and drop off the silver. Um, we're going to need a truck stop down here. And is it going to need multiple platforms? So we're going to be bringing in silver here. No, because we're going to be shipping the plastic in. Okay. Um, so let's get a truck stop in here. This one is actually in catchment. So why don't I just expand it? So we'll expand it like that and maybe add a building on there so we can kind of cover some of the excess although it's going to cover the excess food I want it to cover the excess silver but I don't think there's really any way to do that um, so let's set up our new line so this is going to go from here up to here this is going to be our drop off for our silver so let's just add make it like a gray color. I want them to wait for full load forever before they head up here. And this is Car Shelton Silver. Okay. So that's going to be the silver drop off for the trucks anyway. And now we need a pair of train lines. So the first one is going to be taking the silver into Car Shelton. Uh, so let's put them on platform six. And let's say at Reading, wait forever for a full load of silver. Make it that gray color. And this will be 
what am I calling this? Uh, skeleton silver. And now we're going to have a new line running from skeleton platform five all the way down here. And this is going to be silver and goods. Don't really know what color to make it. Maybe that color? Really dark. Okay. And now at Skelton, I want it to wait for a full load of anything. Uh, particularly silver. And then at Car Shelton, it's just going to pick up whatever's there. So this is going to be our Car Shelton to Skelton. Because it's going to be dropping off at both. And it's going to be silver and goods. Okay. Perfect. So now we need to get some trains on there. I don't know where the best depot would be. Maybe here? This would get us on to this line. Let's see if I can do both. So if I grab a, an A35... Can I get this on... Yes, I can get it on both. Okay. So let's come into this train, and we are going to deck it out here. Okay, we got a new bus. That's great. All right, so we need flat cars. So this is going to be our silver drop-off. So we will just max out the length here. And we will get that on skeleton silver. And now we will buy another A35. And this is going to need to be a mix of flat cars and box cars. So maybe something like that. And we'll make that the little darker color. And we'll put that on the silver and goods line. And now we should start to see nothing because there are no trucks on this delivery. So let's come down here to our road depot and let's get some trucks on here. We're just going to start with like eight. Um, and we'll put them on the silver line. And I wonder if there's a better way so that they don't queue up. Maybe I can get a few more. Maybe 12. I don't know. Those might back up onto the road. So if I add on maybe a couple platforms, just give them a little bit more queuing space. Okay. So now let's see if we're starting to get silver up here. We are not, not yet anyway. This is on the silver to goods. This is on the silver. They're interchanging here. This one's gonna drop it off here, which is in catchment with this facility. And then that is gonna bring it up here drop it off so why oh it's because I'm dropping it off at the wrong place I'm dropping silver ore off here that's not where it's going it's going over here to the silver mill okay in which case it's gonna run right through the center of car so it's gonna take this road there's a collision there uh, but we are going to eat the money and upgrade this. Like that. And now I just need to upgrade this road as well. Okay, so now if we come into the car shout and silver, don't deliver there. They're going to deliver here. Now the question is, what is the best way to do that? 
And what I actually might do is run a road parallel to this rail bridge and bring it over there. I wish I could snap. Like how the rail snaps to the... See if I can get this to line up pretty well. So that looks really good on that end. It's too low on this end. Okay, so we're gonna run this road all the way down here. So it's going to be a little bit lower than the train. I actually kind of think that looks nice. Yeah. So we'll add that road in like that. And then we'll curve it off here. Bring it right down the coast. Connect it in there. Connect that in there. And now we will get... What does this need? This needs... Yeah, I guess it does need two cargo platforms. And I'm just trying to think of how to orient this the best. So let's get two like that. Put this in like here. And then we'll have them circulate through like this. So let's get some connections in here. Like that. And we'll just clean that up. And now I just need to connect this road up. Kind of come around this little forested area right into there and now if i take this i'm going to add a station and we're going to come up here so that will be the drop off so now we should start to see silver okay why consumers car and silver mill So I have trucks on here. I have 12 of them. Oh, and you know what it is? These trains are moving the wrong material. These are moving silver bars, not silver ore. Man, total mess today. Total mess, okay. Not boxcars. Gondolas. That's what we need. And then these on this train need to be gondolas as well. There we go. Okay. So now, there we go. Now we've got silver ore piling up on this line. Perfect. Okay. And with that, now we're going to start to get our interchange going on here.
this train. Yeah, that's our going to get silver ore. Let's just make sure these are all correct. Load full any, and then this one is load full. Okay, so that is going to work. This is our um, silver. I'm just gonna shift these all the way to the back. Like that. Shouldn't matter, but these are all getting into their proper stations. And now this one should wait here forever for a full load of anything, which in this case will be silver ore. Okay, now we need to ship the silver ore up here. So let's get a new line and it's gonna go from the uh, silver mill up here make it this color and this will be Karshalton silver um, and I want them to wait for a full load forever before they head up here and now I actually need to rename this line because this one I'm gonna make it darker as well this one is silver ore Okay, and those trucks will all wait there. And now we need to get some trucks onto this line. So let's come into this road depot. We will buy maybe eight of them until this kind of gets going. And we will put this on the silver line. And those should come up here and wait for a full load before they head down here. Okay, so that is all now functioning. And man, we have huge passenger numbers that want to go up to Hythe. Huge numbers that want to come back. So let's take a look at that. Car Shelton to Hythe. Man, we still have a uh, BR-53 on there. That will not do. So why don't we get a PLM. What capacity? This has 51. So maybe we bring it up to like 105. 94 maybe. Let's make it that dark color. And hopefully that'll start to eat away at those passenger numbers a little bit. These mainline trains running really well. Let's take a look at the finances. Yeah. Doing really well since we replaced those with the PLMs. Um, these trams are running well. I know that we upgraded this road. Um, and it turns out it didn't need to be upgraded. But that's nice. It kind of helps us in future. Um, when we need to start, you know, upgrading things. And let's go ahead and get a couple more vehicles on here. And let's see if we have a train. So this guy's still waiting for his full load should have it's our steel train yeah so this just showed up it just took a full load and now it's going to head back with all that silver ore and it's going to start to stock up skeleton and skeleton should always have a surplus of silver ore simply because there are more gondolas on the silver ore delivery than there are on this train um moving that ore down to Car Shelton. Okay. And now another thing that I'm... I don't want to have... Yeah, see, this is what I didn't want to have happen. So we're going to sell just that one vehicle. So that's okay. What's going on there? Them all queuing up there. Interesting. And these are actually... Okay, so that's not what I want. I want this train at Car Shelton. What is this? Sidings? What is it waiting for? Oh, wait, no. This line. At Car Shelton Annex. 
only load goods. Yeah. And then it, I guess we'll say here, only load silver ore. Yeah. So hopefully now if I speed this up, that food should disappear. Because this rail line that's heading in here is only picking up goods. Hopefully. Might take a little while. Um, oh, and I actually just realized there's another thing that we need to do. We need to add a drop-off here. So let's add on another platform with more street access. I'm going to delete this road. Come in here. I'm going to delete that. So let's get add let's add more street access here. And I'm going to bring this straight across like that. And we will link that in. And now I want to connect these up nicely. Okay. So now those are all fixed. We can let this run again. However, I am going to shift these lines. So this line, I want it to go to platform three. This line, I want it to go to platform two so that I can have a drop-off on the Karshalton Silver line. So after Karshalton East, I want them to pick up goods and drop them here at platform one, and then head back to pick up more silver, more silver bars. I guess actually these trucks could do the silver drop off as well. Yeah, I don't think I need this line at all actually. Just trying to think. Do I want. No, I kind of want to have a surplus of silver. Uh. So actually, I don't need this, no. Because they're going to drop off... They'll bring the goods back here, and then those trucks will bring the goods back down here. Yeah. That's what we want. Um, and we actually have an issue here, so I'll sell a couple of those. Now if we come on to this line... I'll just get a couple more. So they'll queue up there. That's okay. Alright, so now, where is our first train coming back with the silver. Has it left yet? It has. Here it is. So 128 silver, and then we still have excess silver here, which is good. Okay, so that's going to make its way back. Um, it's not going to pick up any goods, obviously, because none have been produced. We don't even have plastic down here, so it's going to be a minute. Um, before the goods are on this platform to head back. It's actually going to be a while um, before that's the case. But at least now we kind of have this established. I'll leave this third platform here. Maybe we could use it in future for uh, some other drop-off that we need to add onto this platform. So I'll leave it there for now. And I think this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. So if you guys enjoyed it, and you made it this far, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, it really helps with the engagement. Also, uh, if you leave a like and a comment, that will also help quite a bit. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the content. Uh, I love getting the comments. They really make my day. I try and read them all and respond to them all in a timely manner. Um, again, trying to pre-record these episodes a little bit. So if you leave me a comment, I might not get to it for an episode or two, but I will definitely try. So 
hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.